profession. Great entertainment is easy to find whenever you watch Cinemax. Pay television, American style. Recent movies, entertainment specials, and sporting events. Initially, at least, pay television in Canada will look quite similar. HBO and Cinemax, the perfect double feature in April. Industry spokesmen say Canadian equivalents should cost about 10 or 12 dollars a month, and for the foreseeable future, they should run without commercial interruptions. But while we know what we're likely to see, we don't know yet who will be producing the programs or how the system will work. Pay television means money, lots of it, and there are two main applicants for the licenses, the CBC, CTV networks, and the cable companies. The cable's primary role is that of exhibitor. Uh, we see ourselves as a natural exhibitor uh, of a pay cable service. We don't see ourselves in any sense as being the producer of programs. But we see uh, a partnership uh, between cable interests and independent program producers. The networks have fought the idea of pay television for years. But as more and more Canadian satellite dishes begin to pirate American pay TV signals, they've decided the time for Canadian pay TV has come, and they'd like to control it. Dozens of other applications from various groups are expected as well. Vernon Sparks is a communications professor at Syracuse University. He's a Canadian. And having observed pay TV in the States, yeah, yeah, he hopes the CRTC the will adopt a program, very flexible basic. approach in granting pay TV it. licenses. Anybody has a right to, the, to try those channels. It's sort of like newspaper publishing or, or magazine publishing. Now, I think the Canadian government has been very conservative on that. I think they have tended to think in terms of this group or this group giving control as opposed to saying, hey, let's, let's open up some common carrier channels here, some leased channels and let's let folks try. And if some new production outfit out of New Brunswick, for example, has found a formula, they get a crack at the market. CRTC guidelines for the service have been very flexible, calling only for Canadian content and work for Canadian production companies. It says the licenses will go to whoever comes up with the best offer. The winners should be on the air by the fall of 82. The problem then will be to convince Canadians to subscribe and that might be harder than many people suppose. An opinion poll taken last month shows that only 14% of current cable users would definitely sign up. Another 17% might consider it. John Greer, CBC News, Toronto.